Hello CCFRP anglers. I hope you are all doing well during this unprecedented time and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. My name is Jake Todd and today I'll be taking us through some tag recapture data and stories from this past 2019 CCFRP sampling season. A little background on myself. I just finished my first year here at Moss Landing as a member of the Fisheries and Conservation Biology Lab. I participated as science crew on a couple of this past season's CCFRP trips, and my thesis will be focusing on the life history of the California scorpion fish in hopes to determine whether fisheries induced evolution has occurred. One of the main uses of our CCFRP tag recapture data is to track the fine scale movements of different fish species we frequently catch. Here is a picture of a tagged vermilion rockfish before it was released and a couple pictures of the tagging process and data collection as well as uh, small tags it's itself and the tool to use to tag each fish. So a little background into our CCFRP tagging program and how it works. Here on the left is a flyer which we distribute to local fishermen, boats, fishing companies, which demonstrates what the tag looks like so the fishermen and the captains know what to look for in the case that they do catch one of our tagged fish, as well as containing our contact information so they can contact us with all the relevant data about that fish. On the right, is a information form which we write up for every person who reports a tagged fish. So on this form, we provide some background on that individual fish, like where it was caught and how large it was. So they can compare it to where they caught it and how big it was when they recaptured it. We also provide them with just some basic life history data on that fish species, just to give them a little background and education on that species. Apart from being able to separate out events such as recruitment and responses to environmental variation, the tag and release component of our CCFRP program gives us the opportunity to learn about growth and net movement of nearshore fish species. Here you can see that there is a wide range in net movements observed from recaptured fishes. However, we can fairly confidently describe general movement patterns of a variety of individual species based on our recaptured data. For instance, copper and gopher rockfish on the left tend to exhibit net movements less than a quarter mile, whereas black rockfish on the right move much greater distances of up to 578 miles. This information then has implications for the design of MPAs and their sizes, but it also provides some basic information about the ecology of these species. So here's a little summary of our tag recapture data taken from 2007 to 2017, the first 10 years of our CCFRP program. On the left, you can see multiple different species which we have tagged and have then been recaptured, with the most recaptures being gopher rockfish with 59 and black rockfish with 45 recaptures. You can also see the wide range of liberty times meaning the time between initial tagging and recapture, with the longest period being a copper rockfish, which was recaptured 1,879 days later, or around five years later. Lastly, you can see the minimum and maximum distance moved, with the maximum distance being 975.8 kilometers, or 606.3 miles for a black rockfish. Now I'll discuss some of our recaptures from this past 2019 sampling season. In total, during our 2019 season, we had nine reported tag recaptures. Of these nine recaptures, there is one black rockfish, one yellowtail rockfish, two copper rockfish, and five lingcod. Four of these re were recaptured on CCFRP trips, two were recaptured by recreational anglers on party boats, and two were recaptured on private fishing boats. Of these nine recaptures, eight were originally tagged on CCFRP trips, but one fish, the yellowtail rockfish, was actually tagged way back in 2013 during our rockfish conservation area project.
Now I'll just be touching on a couple recapture stories from this past sampling season. Our first recapture highlight is a copper rockfish, which is originally caught by Benny R. at the Point Lobos MPA in 2017. Then just one day shy of exactly two years later, this copper was recaptured by Ross B.W. at the same MPA. Our next highlight is a link cod, which was caught by Nick I. in 2018 at the Año Nuevo MPA. And this link cod was then recaptured by Gary K. in the same location and it grew two centimeters during its 356 days at Liberty. Our last tag return highlight from the 2019 sampling season is another link cod, which was originally caught by Mark A in August of 2018, also at the Año Nuevo MPA. This link cod was then recaptured by Victor A at the same location growing three centimeters while at liberty for 392 days. As I mentioned earlier, we did have three tag recaptures which were reported to us from non-CCFRP fishing trips. Two of these recaptures were Lincod, which were recaptured by a private boater at the Farallon Islands, and the third was a black rockfish. This black rockfish was originally caught by Mark A on August 15, 2018 in the Año Nuevo MPA and was recaptured an astounding 440 miles away in Oregon waters in July of 2019, growing one centimeter during its 346 days at Liberty. And lastly, here are just a couple of interesting pictures of some biofouling on some of the tags. Biofouling is essentially just algae growing on the tag while it's in the fish. So thanks everyone for tuning in and a huge thank you to all of our collaborators who you can see here. And here's our contact info as well if you'd like to reach out to us or if you have any questions about the program. And for more information and to keep up to date with the program, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks again.